Welcome to Ev's Shed. I'll be reviewing this homemade rotisserie spit motor and its power supply. You can go out and buy one, but what's the fun in that? Hopefully this will inspire you and give you some really good ideas on how to make your own motor. The motor is a 12 volt wiper motor from a 1960s GM Holden vehicle. We picked it up from our local wreckers, made sure it worked comes complete basically with the wiring positive negative fast and slow speeds so there's two speeds to this motor it came with the mounting bracket which we mounted onto our box tubing which allows us to move the motor up and down to keep tension on the drive belt here's a close-up of our wiper motor to attach the drive pulley we had to make some modifications to this as you can see in here there is a threaded screw that comes out about up to the here so what we did was get a piece of brass tubing uh, then tap out the brass tubing to fit the screw size attach it onto the screw piece that comes out of the motor and, and then uh, put the drive pulley onto it and then screw it onto it. As you can see, it's very, very secure. There's a number of ways we can power this 12 volt wiper motor. Firstly, we can connect it directly to a 12 volt battery. Or what I've done in this case is I've got a 12 volt battery charger and connected it directly to the motor. You can use the alligator clips already supplied and connect them straight to there. But what I've done is use these 12 volt car connectors to actually allow me to connect it directly there and keep it connected. As you can see, there's two wires. There's a negative and also two wires. One's a fast speed, one's a slow speed. So depending on how fast you want it to go, you connect it to those wires. These connections are easy and simple to do. I bought a whole 12 volt car connection kit from my auto supply store. And basically very simple. You use the tool, put it on the color, and then you crimp it. One thing to note about these charges is, this is a fairly old one, if you try and use the new ones, you may have an issue where it has an auto cutout uh, facility. So after a couple of hours of it uh, running the motor, it may heat up and cut out. Whereas these ones don't have that cut out. Uh, they're pretty bulletproof, these old uh, uh, charges. So if you can try, if you've got one, give it a go. Um, however, as I said before, there are two options, either connect it to this or connected to a battery and then you can always use this to actually charge the battery while this is running. These older type wiper motors are fairly bulletproof. I've run these for at least six hours and they haven't skipped a beat. I hope this has inspired you to actually make your own or give you some ideas on what you can do if you want to make a rotisserie spit motor. If you like what you saw, please push the like button down below and please subscribe to Ev's Shed. Thanks for watching, Ev's Shed. Catch you later.